Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's tutorial we are going to be making our Easter special Bun the Bunny. This will be a two-part video. Part one will include the head, the eyes, the face details, the nose, and the ears. And part two will include the body, the arms, the legs, and the tail. So let's go gather our supplies and we can get started. So for today's project, I'm going to be using Baby Snuggle yarn, and I've just decided to use this beigey colored yarn for my bunny. But you can use any color that you want. Um, the entire bunny is one color. If you want to use different colors and do color changing, that is totally fine. You do what you want to do, but for this pattern tutorial, I'm just going to be using the one color. I'm going to be using my 55 millimeter crochet hook from Furls Crochet. I'll need some scissors, my darning needle. I'll need a little bit of worsted, um, like size four medium weight yarn, size three or four. This is just uh, the rainbow 100% cotton from Hobby, um, but you can use anything. We'll need some safety eyes. I'm just using 20 millimeter safety eyes. Um, if this is for a baby, you could also embroider eyes if you're worried about um, these falling out and being a choking hazard. We'll also need some um, fabric pins and some fiber fill. So once we have all of our supplies gathered, we can jump into the pattern. All right, so to begin, we're going to grab our yarn and our hook, and we are gonna start off with the head for this project. So I'm going to start off with a magic ring. Now, if you're unsure of how to do a magic ring, I can link a tutorial here for you that you can watch prior to this project. You should know how to do a basic magic ring and crochet within the round to complete this. So there's our magic ring, and inside the magic ring, we're going to make eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we'll just pull that tight. Now, of course, I forgot to mention in our supplies, we will need a stitch marker. So I like to use a scrap strand of yarn, if you know me. Um, I just find it's the easiest, but you can use whatever you want. Just place your stitch marker here to end round one. Now, moving on for round two, we're going to do an increase round. So that's going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. So go into the first stitch with one, and then we're going to go right back in and place another single crochet for two. We're going to complete that all the way around. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, slipping right out of my stitches here, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen, and that should be our final count for round two. All right, so moving on to round three, I'm just gonna tighten that a little bit and I'm just gonna move my stitch marker. And for round three, we're gonna do the combination single crochet one and an increased stitch. So single crochet in the first stitch and then an increase in the second. So two single crochets in one. And we're gonna do that combination a total of eight times and our stitch count should be 24 at the end of round three. and there is round three all done. 
Now moving on for rounds four, five, six, and seven, so that's four rounds, we're gonna do single crochet 24. So that's one single crochet in each stitch around for the next four rounds. Two, three, four. So I will finish these rounds off camera and I will meet you back here at the end of round seven. All right, so this is what we're looking like so far um, up to round seven. So moving on for round eight, we're going to add a little shaping to the face here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do an increased stitch in this next stitch here. So that's two single crochets in one. And we're gonna repeat that four times. So into the next stitch, we're gonna do an increase. That's two increase into the next one that's three and then one more increase that's four next we're going to do eight single crochets so one two three four five six seven and eight like that Next, we're gonna do those increases again. So four increases. So two single crochets in one for four stitches. There's two, three, and four, like that. And then to finish off this round, we're gonna place eight single crochets. So one single crochet in the last eight stitches. And at the end of this round, we should have 32 stitches. So now when we're looking at this, these little increased sections that we did, those are gonna be like the cheeks. So those will be the cheeks, and then our eyes are gonna go on the front here. That makes sense, if you can see it. So that was round eight. So for rounds nine, 10, and 11, three rounds, we're going to do single crochet 32. So that's one single crochet in each stitch around for all 32 stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight. So I will complete these rounds off camera and I will meet you back here at the end of round 11. All right, so this is what we're looking like right now up to round 11. So you can kind of see the shaping happening here with this being kind of like the chubby cheeks of the bunny and this being the top of the head. So we're gonna move on now. We're gonna start decreasing down. So we're gonna move on to round 12. You should have up to round 11 completed with those single crochets. Now for round 12, we're gonna do the combination single crochet two and a decrease. So single crochet one and single crochet two. And then I like to do an invisible decrease. So what that means is you're gonna go under the front loop here of this first stitch. And then into this next stitch, you're gonna grab the front loop. You're gonna yarn over and pull through those two loops and yarn over and pull through. So you just, in, you just made two stitches into one. We're gonna repeat that, single crochet two and a decrease stitch. And we're gonna repeat this a total of eight times and your stitch count at the end of round 12 should be 24. Two, decrease, three, two, sometimes those front stitches can be hard to get into, one, two,
and that is round 12 completed. Now moving on for round 13, we're just going to do a single crochet round. So that's going to be one single crochet in each stitch around. We have 24 stitches in this round, so this is single crochet 24. And there is round 13 completed. Okay, so once we're finished up to this point, which is round 13, we're gonna place our eyes and we're gonna stuff our head here. Now, sometimes I personally like to stuff first just so I can see what the shape is going to look like. And then I like to place my eyes once I can see, you know, where everything's gonna sit. Cause I feel like when it's flat, you really can't get an idea. So I'm just going to take my fiber fill. If you prefer to place your eyes first, um, that's totally fine. We're going to place our eyes on round seven to nine with about six stitches in between. So if you like to place your eyes first, do that. I'm going to step first just because I personally like to do that first. So that's pretty good. Now we want to make sure that those increases that we did in round uh, eight are on the side of the head. Um, and I'm choosing to leave my area where I did all my stitch markers on the back. Even though you're not going to see this, I just like the look of the side better. So this is the side I'm going to choose to be my front. And I'm going to take my eyes here. Now these are bigger eyes. I would say want them to be, you would want them to be more on rounds eight and nine, but they're probably going to up, go up into a bit of round seven as well. So I'm just going to look at the top here and I'm going to count down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight and nine is right here. And you can see what I mean here. It kind of covers up the three rounds. And I'm just roughly placing this right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we want about six stitches in between. So I want to make sure that my cheeks are on the right spot. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see here. And we will be shaping the face later on, so this is going to kind of come in more like this, which is why we want them a little bit further apart. So, something like that. Three, four, five, six. So, once I'm happy, if you did stuff, First, like I did if the stuffing's in the way you can just remove it and fill the eyes there or put, um, put the backings on but I'm just gonna move my stuffing around and I'm just gonna pop these on now if these are for a kid and you're gonna be using safety eyes maybe just uh, add like a little dollop of glue here or some some way to make sure that they're extra secure these definitely would be choking hazards if they got out. So there are my eyes. I chose blue eyes for this guy. I think they're really cute. I buy my eyes off Ally Express. I love them. So once we have our eyes placed, we will move on. So we'll move on to round 14. So for round 14, we're going to do the combination single crochet and decrease. So single crochet, decrease, just like that. And we're going to repeat that eight times. So you should have 16 stitches at the end of round 14. Increase, 
single crochet decrease all the way around. And that is round 14, all completed. Now moving on for round 15, it is our final round. It's going to be a full decrease round. So we're going to do a decrease stitch in each stitch around. So we're going to just grab those front loops and decrease. And we're going to do this a total of eight times. And you should have eight stitches remaining at the end. Now I'll probably do half or maybe six of these decrease stitches and then I will stuff a little bit more here in the bottom of the head just to make sure that I have all the definition that I want and that it's adequately stuffed to keep its shape, especially of the cheeks. That's really where I want some more shaping. So I'm just going to leave that there. And I'm just going to grab some more stuffing here. And I'm just going to sweep it with my fingers into those cheeks. I don't want it to be too stuffed, but you also want it to be enough that it's going to keep its shape. So I think that's probably good. And then I'm just going to continue along this round and finish up these last few decrease stitches. Cool. Now I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I just like to place a little slip stitch here into the next stitch and pull through and then I'm just going to take some scissors here and I'm going to cut my yarn. You don't really need a long tail for this part and just going to add a tad more stuffing here and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a bit of a smaller hook this is a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook I'm not sure if you can see that on camera but basically what I like to do to end this final round is I just like to go into the front loop of each stitch yarn over and pull through my tail so I just do that all the way around and that's just going to close up this hole here and you can kind of pull halfway through just like that and one more just like that so that's all closed but then I also like to just go through and add a little knot here just so that it stays secured. And then I'm just going to weave in that yarn tail there. There we go. And there is our head completed so far. And next up, we will do some face shaping. Right, so once we have our face here, I'm just gonna bring you out a tad. We're gonna just shape the face here a little bit. So all we need is our darning needle. And I just have that brown medium weight yarn. It does not matter what color you have. Um, I usually use black, but brown works just as well. So basically what we want to do first is we just want to bring in the corner of the eyes a little bit to like add a little bit of definition to kind of where the nose would be. So in order to do that, what I do is I take my darning needle here and as close as you can here to the top of the eye, I'm just going to insert my, my darning needle here. You really want it to be close as, as close as possible to the eye. Next, I'm going to push this all the way through to the other side in the same spot, as close as possible to the top of the eye there. And I'm just gonna pull that through 
but not all the way. So you should have two strands of yarn, one on each side. Next, with this one still attached, we're in this eye over here. We're gonna go down into the bottom of this eye, as again, as close as possible to the eye itself. And sometimes it can be difficult to get in there depending on how tight you made your uh, your clip on the back. Let's see if I can get it any closer. I don't know if I can. Yeah, no, I don't think I can. So. There we go. And then I'm just going to push this down into the bottom here of the head. And I'm just going to hold this over kind of to the side because I want this sit to sit. Sometimes it will do that. I want this to sit on the inside here of the eye. And again, if you um, make your plastic piece really tight. You sometimes I just have to work it in there, but I just got it in. So now I'm going to take my darning needle off and I'm going to move to the other side here. And I'm just going to put that on and I'm going to do the exact same thing just into the bottom here as close as possible. And I'm going to go down, but I'm not going to go through the same hole here. I'm going to go through different holes as you can see. Um, Cause I just find if you can do that, um, it's secured a little bit better. And so basically all we're going to do is we're just going to pull. And if you can see, if you pull really tight, it's going to bring your eyes in a lot. If you pull just a little bit, it's just going to add a tiny bit of definition to make it look a little bit more realistic. You can see here the shaping that that did. So you're just going to pull that until you're happy with what it's looking like. And then once you are happy with it, we're just going to tie a knot here at the bottom. Now this is going to cause a little indent here because you use two separate stitches. That's fine because we're going to be attaching the head here. But if this was a pattern that you didn't have anywhere to hide that, then you could just do it in the same spot. Just keeping in mind that once you bring it into the body, it's probably going to release a little bit and not be the exact same shape. So just keeping that in mind. And I'm just going to cut that. And I'm just going to take my darning needle here, or my smaller hook, sorry. And I'm just going to weave in those ends. And there is that. Next, we're going to do the eyebrows. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to use this brown yarn for the whole, all the details on my face. So I'm just going to use my darning needle. And what I'm going to do with my darning needle, I'm going to insert it kind of over on the side, not really close to where I am, but close enough that I can get to it. And I'm going to insert my needle here up about, it, it's about for me half a stitch from the top of the eye um, into this stitch right here. But wherever that is for you, just basically want it to be kind of in line with the top of the eye. Next, we are going to go up two rounds and we're gonna go over about two stitches to the center of the eye. So I'm thinking kind of around here. So this is centered with the eye. It's about two stitches over and two rounds up. Then I'm gonna push this over to as close as I can get it to the same spot on the other side. And sometimes this stuff is trial and error. If you don't like it, you can just take it out and redo it. But that's kind of what that one's looking like. And then I'm gonna try and do the same thing over here. And I guess it's, I, I went about three rounds actually, three rounds up, like that, not two. But you do whatever you think looks best, and then I'm just going to push that over to meet up with my one I started with there, and I'm pretty happy with those, so 
I'm just going to tie a very light knot here. I don't want to tie it too tight because I don't want to change the shape of the eyebrow and it will pull in especially when you're using this fluffy yarn. It will pull into the fluffy yarn and um, you won't be able to see it as well. And then I'm just going to weave those in just like that. Now if when you were doing that it did pull a little bit I just like to loosen them a little bit like that and there are our eyebrows all completed. So the very last thing we're going to do for this details on the face here is we're going to make the nose. So again I'm using this brown yarn with my darning needle. Now we're going to work on the bottom of the eyes where the bottom of the eyes are which I think is round nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to be working on the bottom of round nine. We're going to insert our darning needle here about one ish stitches from the eye on the bottom of round nine. We're going to just pull that. We're going to go across to the same spot on the other side. And then I'm going to push it through again to the same spot here. And this is going to create a little loop here for the nose, the little snout we're making. I like to do this three or four times just to make it look kind of a little thicker. Um, so just do it however many times you want. Kind of like that. Then I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to push my needle in here but instead of pushing it back out through this side what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the center of like just between this stretch of yarn here I'm going to try and find the center. Now this may take a couple tries Um, but you just want it to be kind of in the center there, which I think that is actually pretty centered. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down two rounds and then right back up into that same spot like that. And we're going to go down one more and I'm going to push my yarn over. So I have four strands of yarn on the top here and then just two on the bottom. And there is our little bunny nose. So once I'm happy with that, again, I'm just going to tie this off, but just lightly. It does not, you need to, don't need to pull tight um, just because you don't want to lose your strands there. And then I'm just going to take my scissors, cut that, and then I'm just going to weave in these ends. Like that. And then I'm just going to pull this out a little, those out a little. And there is our face detailing all done. All right, so once we have finished our face and the details for the face, we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna start working on the ears. So I'm gonna be using the same yarn and my same hook here, the 5.5 millimeter, and we're gonna start off with a magic ring again. So there's our magic ring. And then inside our magic ring, we're going to place six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just pull that tight. And then I'm just going to grab my stitch marker here and place that there. And there is round one completed. 
Now moving on for round two, we're going to do an increase round. So that's two single crochets in one stitch. So there's one and two. And we're going to do that all the way around for a total of 12 stitches at the end of round two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I'm sorry, this is a new hook, so I'm just getting used to it. Why am I, I keep slipping out of my stitches there. Okay, so there's round two. Now for round three, we're going to do the combination single crochet one and an increase. So in this first stitch, we're going to place a single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to place an increase stitch. So two single crochets and one. And we're going to repeat this a total of six times for a stitch count of 18 at the end of round three. Increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, and increase. And there is round three. Now for round four, we're gonna do single crochet 18. So one single crochet in each stitch around two, three, All right, for round five, we're going to do the combination single crochet two and an increase. So one, two, and increase. And we'll repeat this a total of six times for a stitch count of 24 at the end. Increase one, two, increase all the way around. And there we go. Now moving on. For rounds six and seven, so two rounds, we're gonna do single crochet 24. So that's one single crochet in each stitch around for round six and seven. So I will finish these rounds off camera and I'll meet you back here for round eight. All right, so this is what we're looking like at, up until round seven, just like this. So moving on to round eight, we're going to do combination single crochet 10 and a decrease. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and a decrease. And then we're going to repeat that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine, 10, and a decrease. 
and that is round eight. Moving on to round nine, we're gonna do single crochet 22. So one single crochet in each stitch around. One, two, three. I'll finish this round off camera and I'll meet you back here for the next round. All right, for round 10, we are going to do the combination single crochet nine and the decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine, and our decrease. And then we're going to repeat that one more time. So single crochet nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease. Just like this. So this is what we're looking like so far. Now moving on to round 11, we're going to do single crochet 20. So one single crochet in each stitch around. Two, three. So I will complete this round off camera and I'll meet you back here for round 12. All right, and here we are. So next we're going to work on round 12. And for round 12, we're going to do the combination single crochet eight and decrease. And I'm sure by now you can sense a pattern. We're just slowly decreasing down the ears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and a decrease. And then we'll repeat that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a decrease. Oopsies. Sometimes it's so hard to get under that one stitch there. So for round 13, now moving on, we're gonna do single crochet 18. So one single crochet in each stitch around. go. That is round 13 completed. Here's what we're looking like so far. You can see it's slowly getting smaller up at the top and that's what we want. So moving on to round 14, we're going to do the combination single crochet seven and a decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a decrease. And we'll repeat that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a decrease in those last two stitches there. That's round 14 completed. Now round 15, we're going to do single crochet 16. So one single crochet in each stitch around. Three, I'll make this row off camera and I'll meet you back here for the next one. All right, moving on to round 16. 
We're going to do the combination single crochet six and a decrease. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to decrease. And we'll repeat that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a decrease. Moving on to round 17, we're going to do single crochet 14. So just one single crochet in each stitch around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oopsies, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And there is round 17. Moving on to round 18, we're going to do the combination single crochet five and a decrease. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. And we'll repeat that again. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. All right, moving on. This is kind of what we're looking like now. You can kind of see the shape tapering at the top. It's a very slow taper, but that's exactly what we, we wanted. So for round 19, we're going to do single crochet 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Just a few more rounds. For round 20, we're going to do the combination single crochet four and a decrease. One, two, three, four, decrease. Repeat that one more time. One, two, three, four, and a decrease, just like that. You should have 10 stitches at this point. And for round 21, we're going to do single crochet 10. So one single crochet in each stitch around. So there's Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we're going to 
do round 22, which is going to be the combination single crochet three and a decrease. One, two, three, decrease. The smaller these rounds get, the definitely the harder they are to crochet into. So just take your time. One, two, three, and a decrease. There is round 22. And we just have one final round, round 23, which is just single crochet eight. So one single crochet in each stitch around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And there we go. There is one ear. So we'll pull out our stitch marker here. And again, I just like to place a little slip stitch into this next stitch. And we're going to cut about a 12 inch strand of yarn for sewing on. And I'm also going to cut about 12 to 16 inches um, for the ear detail, just a little strand of yarn here we'll put to the side. So we'll just pull this through. Now we just want to, right now, if you were to squish this, it's just going to be open. It's not going to keep its shape. So we want to make sure that it keeps its shape. So making sure that our tail that we're going to use to sew on is on the side of like this, like on the side of the uh, end of, of round 23 here. Down here in the bottom piece, we want to keep this piece kind of that concave look. If you can see that on camera, I'm not sure if you can. Let me just pull you out a tad. So what I want to do here is I'm going to take that strand of yarn that I had and I'm going to put it on my darning needle. Now what I want to do is I want to just sew a little secure uh, piece right in this the center of this concave area just to keep it in place. So with my darning needle I'm going to come up it really does not matter where you put it um, whatever place feels best for you I think maybe this is round one two three four five six I have mine up through round six right now and I'm just going to pull that through next I'm going to go right back down but I'm just going to go down one round one row down and back through to the other side and I'm going to pull that through so you can't really see it. That's the great part about the fluffy yarn. You really can't see it. And then on the back here, I'm just going to take these two yarn tails and I'm going to just tie a little knot. Just like that. And that's just going to secure this down. So now I can't fully open it like I could before. Just going to take my scissors and cut this kind of just shy of the length of the ear here. And then I'm going to take my smaller crochet hook and I'm going to just grab those ends if I can and pull them through. There we go. And now they are inside the ear. So that is our ear. So just go back and make one more ear. Um, rewind the video, make one more, and then we'll meet back here to sew them onto the head. All right, so I created both my ears 
and now I'm going to sew them on. I also did both of the securement here in the um, concave part of the ear. So now I'm going to grab my head that we made already and I'm going to attach these on. So for the ears, what we want to do is we want to attach these to round four. So the bottom of round four of our head. So one, two, three, four, and there's the top and the bottom of that round. I'm just going to grab some stitch markers here and I'm just going to mark a spot just so that I have an idea of where these are going to be. And then on the other side I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now ideally we want the ears to be about two to three stitches from the eyebrow on both sides so you want to make sure they're even and then we also want about three to four stitches in between the ears on the back so we have one two three from this eyebrow and about one two so I think that maybe this one needs to go over a tad and the ears just gonna sit right there and then this one's going to sit right there. So the ears are super long and very cute. So that's what that's going to look like. And then on the back, we have three stitches in between those ears. So I think that's a pretty good spot for those. So I'm just going to place some pins. I'm only going to be able to pin one at a time because the other one's for sure going to fall off as I'm sewing. So I'll just put that one to the side for now. I'm going to grab the one that I have pinned on and I'm going to take my darning needle here and put the yarn end on there. And I just want to make sure that I'm happy with that placement. And then I'm actually going to use my little markers that I used before and I'm going to sew this on. Oopsies, don't want to create a little knot there. Now for this guy, I'm actually just going to sew on the, the front row. Like there's, when you squish this in half here, you can see there's this is the back row and this is the front row. I'm just going to sew on the front row here, just making sure I'm still where I want to be. And then I'll sew the back row on after. I just find it doesn't look so um, chunky at this where it's sewed on when you do it that way. Try and split the stitch here. Take those out. So there's that top row sewed on. And then I'm just going to flip this, and you can see this is that bottom row that's not sewn on. And I'm going to sew that on here. I don't know. You can also just grab both of those on the other side when you're sewing it. I just personally think that it looks a little bit more bulky and it's something that I've started doing recently that I think looks a little bit better. So there is our ear sewn on. Now with the ears you have two options. If you want to just leave them floppy like this you absolutely can. If you want them to be able to move around um, then just basically leave it as is. But if you want them to be held down, so if you want them to kind of keep a spot like that, then what we can do is we will just push our needle here down to the area about here 
that you want the ears to be secured to. Then we're going to go into the ear itself like this and then back into the body in this, not in the same spot but around the same round and then I'm just going to push this over to the center of the head. And all that's going to do is it's going to stop you from being able to move the ear around and it's going to keep it in that space. So that's really personal preference what you want to do with that one. Um, I'm, I usually like to keep mine down, but for this one, because the ears are so fluffy and so long, it might be fun to keep them free. So I will let you guys decide what you want to do with that. But that is one ear attached. So I'm going to go back and sew on the other ear and then I will meet you back here. Alright, so I sewed on both my ears. I just have my yarn tails left. I'm just going to tie a knot here um, just to secure those down. And I'm just going to cut my yarn. And I'm going to weave in my ends. And there is our head completed with our ears attached. And that is the end of part one. Please head over to part two to complete the rest of your bunny, the body, the arms, the legs, and the tail.